Hello, it's Justin here. Some of you will know I'm quite uh, quite fond of the Hornby 01 control system from the 80s. I bought my original system back in the 80s and uh, I've had it ever since and I've added extra functions uh, as they've come along. I really quite like the look of it, although it's known now to be quite unreliable in terms of track control and DCC is much better. So I've built a uh, 01 to DCC interface uh, which is what I'm showing today. Um, so I've got a, uh, a VR uh, T-Class diesel. Um, they've got quite poor decoders, pretty much just motor control, uh, not much else. But it's a, um, a good start to demonstrate how this works. Um, so I've already programmed in Loco 1 uh, to Controller 1 and uh, we'll just push on and, uh, and we'll see it moving forward. We'll see it moving back. And in fact, what you'll notice is that um, the inertia controls continue functioning uh, pretty much as you would imagine. Uh, so more interestingly, I've got a uh, steam loco. Which is pre-programmed with sound and lights and various other things. There it is. Now, here's the fun bit. Um, I've managed to be able to map some of the function controls. So now, by holding down the forward key, I can control its, its uh, whistle. Just show you that. And I can turn on its headlight. And blow its whistle. So that's my, uh, oops. And it's on um, controller two, of course. And there you go. There's my um, zero one to digital control system uh, interface in operation. Um, I'm looking forward to putting more functions in, but it certainly works at the moment.